Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another edition of Top 5 Best PC Hardware Deals. Haven't done this as consistently as I would have liked to, so I thought today would be a great time to get back into doing this. And there's quite a few good deals right now available, not on graphics cards, which is unfortunate, but a lot of other stuff you can find some really exceptional deals, so let's just get right into this with number 5. Number 5, we're going to start off with some storage and SSD in particular. The Samsung 850 Evo 1TB solid state drive is on sale on eBay. It's down to a $320 list price, which is already pretty good, but then there is a promo code that knocks off another 10%, which will knock it down to, I believe, about $288. And that's a really good deal for a 1TB solid-state drive. I know that's still expensive, a 1TB SSD, you know, not everybody's in the market for that. Still very pricey, and if you don't pick this up now, I'm sure in a year or two down the line, it's just gonna get cheaper and cheaper, as has been the case with SSDs. Also, if you do want a cheaper option, I'll leave a link to a $100. $150 500 gigabyte SSD. That's also a really good deal. Both of those are on eBay. And yeah, the Samsung A50 Evo series are a really solid line of SSDs. I ran an 840 for a while and that worked really well. Moving on to number four, some more storage. And this is an awesome deal on a hard drive. Sale ends in 12 hours, so be fast on this. Over on Newegg, you can pick up a Seagate Barracuda 3 terabyte hard drive. It's listed for $83, which is already ridiculously good. And then there's a promo code to knock off a little bit more and you'll end up getting the hard drive for about $70, which is just great for a three terabyte drive. I've been talking about a lot recently, probably for the last year, year and a half, that one terabyte hard drives are great. But if you're the type of gamer like me where you're buying a lot of games on Steam, you might be recording videos, recording gameplay. Even a terabyte of storage, while at face value sounds like a lot, it's going to be very limiting very quickly. When you up that to three terabytes, you're really removing that restriction altogether. Three terabytes is just a ridiculous amount of storage space. And it's great to have just to store your excess games, medias, movies, music, pictures, all that kind of stuff can go on the three terabyte drive. Excess gameplay footage if you want to record videos and stuff like that. It's just great to have a three terabyte drive for all of that. Would I get it standalone? No, I would probably pair this with a solid SSD and then you got a really good configuration going. But either way, $70 for a three terabyte drive, that's pretty freaking great. Moving on to number three, the Corsair Gaming Strafe Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. The Cherry MX Reds are $80 on Newegg right now. This is is refurbished, but $80 is such a great price that I think this still warrants a mention. Typically, this keyboard goes well over $100, so $80, even if it's refurbished, really solid deal. You get free three-day shipping with Newegg Premier as well, and you can sign up for a trial of that if you want. And as far as refurbished products on Newegg goes, I've had no issues with them. I've bought refurbished products a lot, and every time they've come out really well, and even if you do have any issues, they've got a really solid return policy, so you have no worries whatsoever. And yeah, for an $80 mechanical keyboard that's lower on the the price side and this is very high quality so I think this is well worth it. Moving on to number two we've got a really nice monitor the Acer G7 series 24 inch 2560 by 1440 p monitor. It's got a four millisecond response time a awesome slim design and yeah 1440 p monitor for $170 that's pretty good. This sale is ending in two days so you want to jump on this pretty quickly if you are interested. It's got built-in speakers which I always like even though built-in speakers are usually pretty terrible but it's always nice to have a backup option. It's got a VGA port, a DVI port, as well as an HDMI port. 1440p gaming is a little tough to run, so I'd definitely recommend to have a nice video card if you're picking something like this up. Something like a 1070 does pretty well in that resolution, and a 1080 is obviously really, really good at that resolution. But yeah, $170 for a 1440p monitor is really good. The fact that these high-resolution monitors are this cheap now is great, and it definitely opens the door for a lot more people to start gaming above 1080p, because I know that 1080p is definitely still the premier resolution for gaming. That's the resolution most people go towards, but now with 1440p monitors being so cheap, maybe it's something you guys should look at, and games do look freaking fantastic at 1440p, so it's just something to think about if you've been at 1080p for a while. Finally, also on eBay, they've got the Ryzen 3 1200 at $110, and the same code that's applicable on the Samsung 850 Evo is also applicable on the Ryzen 3 1200, so you end up getting this CPU for just $100. That is absolutely ridiculous. A quad-core CPU like this, 3.1 gigahertz, 3.4 gigahertz turbo, it just recently released. That is a fantastic price for the Ryzen 3. Also, the Ryzen 5 1600 is available on eBay. It's actually on Newegg's eBay page too, so that's pretty convenient. The Ryzen 5 1600 is available for 215 but again, using that discount code will get it to you for less than 200 bucks, which is a great, great deal. I know that buying a CPU right now kind of insinuates that you're buying a whole new rig, and getting a whole new rig is kind of difficult with the shortage 
shortage of graphics cards, but still, if you're trying to piecemeal your build together, now is a great time to pick up a Ryzen CPU because I doubt you're going to find it for much cheaper of a price. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Sorry for the little bit inconsistent of uploads, trying to get back into the swing of things. You'll definitely be seeing a lot more uploads in the coming weeks, and if you guys have a request for a future video, as always, you can leave that in the comment section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.